Bismillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fih. Kami yuhibu rabbuna wa yardah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. La nabiya ba'dah. Wa la rasula ba'dah. Amma ba'd. Hello everyone. Uh, Alhamdulillah. I have been given another chance by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, to make another video to give to you all. Uh, thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us uh, all of the mercies and blessings that we have gotten. Uh, don't forget, peace and salvations always be given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, everyone. In this occasion, I want to give you guys a tutorial. But uh, in this tutorial, I would like to just explain the basics and how to add stuff. So, what is the tutorial for today? So, today's tutorial is about uh, the simple basics and how to make a design in Tinkercad. So, what is Tinkercad? You may ask. Uh, Tinkercad is a platform that you can use to make 3D designs. Uh, mainly used for making 3D designs uh, that is associated with uh, boards and circuits for an Internet of Things stuffs or projects. Uh, maybe you have seen one of my examples in my website about the smart home project uh, that is made. Uh, the design is made on this website, which is Tinkercad. So now uh, I would like to go immediately to the project or the simulation. So, for the tutorial now, is I want to explain uh, how to make a design in Tinkercad. So first of all, uh, if you have made an account, you can just log in to Tinkercad. But if you haven't, yeah, you make a, an account first. And the steps are pretty easy, so you can just do it by yourself. And if you're done making an account, maybe it's told to verify your account first. After that, you can use Tinkercad as you like. Then after that, if you have logged in to your Tinkercad, uh, you may see this page uh, as the home or the main dashboard in the designs. So here are other collections. So this is the home, the classes, collections, tutorials, and challenges. But we are on the design page, which is showing off your designs that you made. So in order to make a new project, we would click this Create button here. Just click it and there are three options and because we're trying to make a 3d design we continue to make 3d design sorry there is a little bit of an error okay so it takes a little bit of a time to make the new file If it's done loading, you should see a dashboard full of uh, stuff. Ah, now that it's done loading, I want to explain some of the stuff in the Tinkercad. So here, there are so many features that we can see or we can use. Here's the home button, uh, which is the home view. This is for uh, fit all in view. If we click this, if it fit all of this into one view. This is for zooming, of course. This is for zooming in and this is for zooming out. And this is for switching to a flat view because this is a 3d view right then we can uh interact around but if we switch to this it would turn into a more flatter view not a 3d view we can switch back to another view and here are the some basic controls like for example this is for copying this is for pasting this is for duplicating this is for deleting and undo and redo this is for uh showing all or the visibility like here you can add notes so you can share this project to others as well to collaborate this is for making a group and then this is for ungrouping this is for the alignments and stuff basically all and here you can change the name here maybe for example this is a tutorial design okay now uh, here are some of the tools this is for importing 3d files from another platforms uh, this is for downloading and exporting your 3D design, and this is for sending the design. As you can see here, there are. This is a board plane tool, which is the board here. This is a ruler tool, so you can make a design on based on, on an actual ruler or a size that you need. And this is a notes that you can add. So here are also basic shapes that you can check around. 
basically all. And here, I want to show you off about how to make the uh, basic shapes or maybe example a house. So here, we can insert, uh, for example, this box. We can click it. And as you can see, if we drag it here, it will bring the box to the work plane. You can just click it. Here, there are many uh, tools that we can use. This is for the radius of the shape. You can make it into a circle if you want, even though this is already a circle or a sphere. Uh, this is for the steps. Uh, I don't really understand this one yet, but basically that. This is for adjusting the length, the width, and the height of your uh, box or the shape. But not only that, you can just adjust it by yourself using these arrows, just like a normal 3D design uh, a software. And for example, maybe you want to make a house. Let's try making a house, for example. Right, so here's the house, and this is going to be the roof. This is for dragging up the shape that we want to bring. Okay, so for example, we put this on top here. This is going to be our roof. All right, yeah, for example, this is our new house that we have made uh, in a very easy way. So now I want to make a hole for my door for it to be uh, accessible to open. Like, how do we make a hole in our design? Well, that's pretty easy. You can just uh, drag this a box or any shape that you want. But the difference is on here, there are two types. There is a solid type and a hole type. As basically said on the name, a hole type is to make a hole on the design. So example, I put a hole in here. So I can just set it into a door size if I want to and make it make the width and the length higher like this. Then you can see like the previews. Uh, yeah, so basically like that. And here, finally, your design example has been finished. So this is like a basic example. You can just select all and delete it again. And there are also many shapes that you can discover from here. There are many. Uh, there are many design starters and examples in the shapes library. You can also make your own design as you want. So one of the examples of the smart home that I have made is this. This is, uh, I made it all by myself uh, with the shapes that are available by the Tinkercad itself. As you can see, this is the 2D example, and this is the 3D example that this is also used for my project in IoT. So there are like boards and holes and stuff in the project. As you can see here, there is a hole used by using the hole feature for the boxes or the shapes. Yeah, so basically that's all that I can explain about the basics and uh, tutorials of how to make a design in Tinkercad. Hope you can learn something from this. Maybe if you want to try making your own 3D design that you can print in Tinkercad, you can watch this video again and maybe understand a little. I hope I can help you with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.